afternoon. Uh, could you introduce yourself, please? Uh, good afternoon. My name is Enisa Mede. I'm working at the, the Faculty of Educational Sciences English Language Teaching Department as an assistant professor. One of my research areas is curriculum design and evaluation, which is which was my PhD dissertation. That's why today I would like to give you some brief information about how to design an effective curriculum. Uh, what is the major differences between a curriculum and syllabus? Curriculum is a general broader term, it's actually an umbrella term which emb that embraces the syllabus. Curriculum involves uh, the basic steps of program design and evaluation like a methodology, uh, activities, related materials, goals, methods, and evaluation procedures, whereas the syllabus is a more specific term that just includes the steps you have to follow on how to teach the course effectively throughout the semester. Okay. Uh, can you briefly uh, talk about one of the uh, curriculum design models? Yes, sure. There are many effective curriculum design models and approaches, but one that I find very effective is Brown's model, which is very uh, practical and a hybrid model. It involves basic steps of designing a curriculum, especially in the field of English language teaching. The first step is needs analysis, which means identifying the needs of the students. Uh, once you decide on the targeted needs of the students, the second step is specifying the goals and objectives to be involved in the program. In other words, what are your expectations at the end of the course? Uh, after defining the goals and objectives, the ne next steps are developing the appropriate materials and assessment tools to be used for the course, deciding on the methodology, what kind of teaching methods you are going to adapt or adopt in your course is the next step, and finally, uh, language evaluation or program evaluation is the last step offered by Brown, which means evaluating the effectiveness or evaluating the previous steps of the program. This is a hybrid model, as I said, and uh, it goes back and forth, and all these six steps are integrated. Okay, uh, how can we integrate a curriculum design into English language teaching programs? Well, first of all, we should design some uh, teacher training programs. We should raise the awareness of the teachers about the major steps of, the, of designing a curriculum. Of course, uh, during this training program, there should be a full collaboration between the uh, program developers, course instructors, administrators, and the students. Once we raise the awareness of this target group, and once there is a full co cooperation between them, uh, the curriculum can be designed effectively for the target group of students. Okay, thank you for this interview. You're welcome. <laughs>